సో జస్ట్ రీక్యాప్ ఆఫ్ ది థింగ్స్ అనమాట సో వీ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ ది ఎస్ఎల్ఏ మేనేజ్మెంట్ సో ఇఫ్ ద యు నో ఇఫ్ ద ఎస్ఎల్ఏ ఈజ్ ఇన్ రెడ్ కలర్ ఇఫ్ ద ఎస్ఎల్ఏ ఈజ్ ఇన్ రెడ్ కలర్ దట్ మీన్స్ ద ఇన్సిడెంట్ ఈస్ బ్రీచ్డ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ యాంబర్ కలర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మోర్ దాన్ ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంట్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ గ్రీన్ కలర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లెస్ దాన్ ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద టైమ్ వేస్ కన్జ్యూమ్డ్ సో నెక్స్ట్ థింగ్ ద యు నో వెరీ ఐ కెన్ సే uh uh very important kind of thing uh the, you you will get in the interviews is explain the types of issues you, you handle or the types of scenarios you handle and wh- what are the regular you know uh regular kind of tickets you will get uh in your uh, daily activities so basically as a major incident manager you will get these kind of issues the first one is the application which you are handling is not responding properly that is the first kind of uh, uh, you know uh, issue you will receive second one is the servers you know there will be servers there will be clusters uh, so the servers won't respond properly uh, so that causes some uh, outages and next one the change the application team or the server team or the change management team will update the application with a new code they develop a new code and the code itself uh, you know the code itself fails and that causes an outage we will get deeper on one one on uh, one by one and another one is the billing and payment related issue like the customer is paying something through the application the amount might be deducted but the payment is unsuccessful uh, or else he couldn't complete the transaction it keeps on uh, you know uh, hanging up uh, and it is not processing the payment and the final one is the time out errors time out errors is the kind of thing when you start reaching any application it is not responding after a, a, a particular time of 30 seconds or 1 minute it is showing uh, session expired or uh, you couldn't reach the page these are the similar i mean kind of issues you will get as a major outages like p1 and p2 outages in organizations okay so we will go through one by one so how the application uh, runs and how it it, it stop responding that we will discuss so the first one is the application not responding so application not responding is a kind of issue basically the applications run on you know if any application like it can be a, you know the whatsapp or if uh, or a facebook it runs on three parameters so the first one will be the application what you are uh, using on your device so you will be having an application on your phone or if you, uh, you will be having an application in your laptop to run this application there are few servers which stores your data the application never stores data there will be some servers like our cpus you know our cpu has uh, a hard disk our mobile phone has uh, some memory memory card or internal memory in the same way the applications will have server rooms which is which stores the complete uh, data of all the users whether it can be whatsapp or it can be facebook or it can be the banking domain or anything and there is some infra team so which connects server and application server and application so the whenever you are asking something in the application it takes the support from the infra team and then the infra team will get the data from servers and that will be shown up on on the uh, you know your application like when you are sending any photo uh, to your friend it won't go from one uh, one i mean from whatsapp to whatsapp so application to application what happens that travels from your application the front end application to the back end and then it travels in the i mean it travels to the servers the storage rooms and then it travels to your friends uh, whatsapp that is how the applications will work if you are fetching your bank balance from your icic account your mobile won't store any data your application your bank balance data so the application 
will get, go back to the server and it sets your username there and it will get data from the storage. That is how the applications will work in the IT. It, in, it is in very simplest terms. So we will be having applications, infra teams and the servers. Is it clear for everyone or do you have any kind of doubts here? So the application is the thing you are using and infra which connects application and the uh, server and server is the place where all these data will be stored. So now coming to our first thing. So the problem, the chance of occurring is problem is only at three places. One is at application, second one is at infra and the third one is at server rooms. So what happens if the application has a problem? So what happens is if somebody is using application on multiple times, like if you see the Flipkart big billion days, everybody uses Flipkart big billion days at that time. So here the issue is uh, the service, service desk created an incident stating application is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, application is not responding. Okay. What you will do immediately, you got that incident. So what you will do as a major incident manager? So you immediately start the bridge call and you will pull application team onto the bridge. Am I correct or not? We are not deviating and we are only stick to our high level process. Whenever you receive an incident, you will declare the incident as a high priority and you will pull the application team onto the bridge. And the bridge started application team they identified resources pile up on the node means there is plenty of traffic so if the, i will give you a simplest example you have your mobile phone right so you opened all the 25 or the 30 applications which are there in your uh, mobile what happens immediately your phone starts ha hanging up am i correct or not your phone starts hanging up so then what happens you couldn't access anything. Immediately, what you need to do, you need to clear all the applications or you need to restart the uh, phone. So that is the only option you have. So in the same way, they identified plenty of users are using that application. So the resources are pile up. What is piling up? So they, they started storing at the nodes. Nodes in the sense, a kind of, you know, like on the, uh, your, on your memory. In the simplest time, the resources means the traffic is piling up on the uh, memory. So you couldn't access that memory that caused the uh, application to uh, not to respond. Not to respond. So what as a resolution, what the team did, the entrance team restarted the servers. So obviously when the resources were piled up, so they restarted the server and then the application started running. So what you will do when your phone hung? So you immediately restart your phone. Am I correct or not? You immediately restart your phone and your phone will start working properly. So that is the one kind of scenario you will, you know, uh, you will face as a major instant manager. Please let me know if you are struck anywhere in the three lines. If you don't know what is resource pile up or if you don't know node or if you need further explanation also, please let me know. Or if you are clear, you know, we will go to the next. Uh, but this is very much important. If you are just nodding your head like that, so it will be tough for you to explain this in the uh, interview also. So, uh, if you have any doubt, please let me know or else I will go to the second thing. Sir, please repeat one, sir. So, so I will so I will repeat it. So the basically the application which you are using will not respond. Like your if you are using WhatsApp, it is not sending you messages and it is not receiving you the messages. So that is the outage reported. So you initiated a bridge call, WhatsApp team joined on the bridge. So, and they identified. So, when they diagnosed the issue, they identified that many of the users, you know, uh, regularly 100, 100 people are using the WhatsApp. At that point of time, 500 people are using the WhatsApp. 
so that caused a traffic file piled up i mean the increased traffic on the servers so the only you know the resolution you have is you need to restart the server so you you simply restart the server and that clears everything and everybody can now uh, access the whatsapp now so that is the application not responding simplest thing you need to explain okay. these three words the application is not responding the team joined on the bridge and they identified there are plenty of resources on the node so they started uh, you know they connected with server team and they restarted the server and the issue got resolved that's it it should be as simple as that but you need to understand what caused the issue how it got resolved what caused the issue here resources huge traffic caused the issue how it is resolved by restarting the server okay okay that's it that's it make make sure you noted this uh, at a notes or something it will kill your time in uh, interviews so if you start explaining three scenarios uh, you know 15 minutes is consumed that is fine for you you can kill time in interview and the next one is server Sir. down or rebooted or hung it happens when you are using uh, uh, what i can say when you are using your uh, when you are using your uh, pcs old pcs okay i will explain what happens here is when you are connecting to any network it will show some uh, 403 errors or uh, uh, 501 errors okay that means you couldn't able to reach the uh, reach the uh, site okay irctc is the best example for this when you are trying to book any ticket at the point of tatkal what happens you couldn't reach the site itself that is caused due to the servers issues again this is at the the application is running pretty much fine but what happens is there will be huge traffic on the servers huge traffic on the servers but the, how the servers will be designed i will tell you if there are four servers if there are four servers suresh sir uh, i have found yeah. out okay in irct is also it is an application ha uh. irct is a application irct is kuda oka application hai kada yes irct is a, whatever you are uh, you are accessing that is an application even it can be a site or something if there are two kinds of applications i will explain which you, you use on the internet uh, browsers like facebook okay uh, or irctc or instagram or something and there are few applications which are you download and you install in your mobile or laptop to use like vlc player whatsapp but both are the you know applications only they have a user interface they have a user interface they have back end data as well as they have front end data that is completely different topic for you but everything is an application youtube is an application irctc is an application facebook is an application okay, okay. it is as simple but what happens in this particular issue is the application is pretty much fine here but what happens there are there will be multiple servers for each and every application to store the data depending upon the traffic they receive if the application is limited like we have service now application what you, you are using we don't have a server for that we will be having a place in the server of you know hardly i can say uh, uh, 10 gb or less than 10 gb because how many users are using that hardly 10 users are using so 10 gb is enough 10 gb we can store it in now a memory card also let's assume for irctc okay. now how many people will use irctc how many people will use um, uh, youtube crores of billions of people will okay. use so the servers will be believe me it will be in the size of a huge building uh, huge building in the sense not like a three floor building or an apartment it will be like our high tech city you know our high tech city right yes, yes. so it is just like that as an high tech city they will be having server one server will be like around it will be like uh, huge servers will be there to uh, to store the data to store the data so what happens is the basic fund i will tell you if there are four servers were there 
the four will be connected if we are uh, typing if you are logging into irctc j1 is logging into irctc so your first request that request is called as ping ping will reach the server one if already server one is almost pulled with other request automatically your request will be transferred to server 2 even the server 2 is you know filled up it will be transferred to server 3 if it is filled up it will reach to server 4 even that is also filled up you will you will receive a 501 error that all the servers are busy please wait for some time that is our first uh, uh, you know first issue that is our first issue application not responding due to high huge traffic the servers are running fine but due to heavy traffic they are uh, it, it couldn't give you the request what you are asking but in the second situation what happens is as i told right if server one is high what should happen the request should go to server two right or wrong two but it won't happen that we call it as the failing over failing over you believe you don't take failing over means it is failing failed over means transferring uh, request from one server to another server if i asked a question to j1 if j1 couldn't answer it the next immediately uh, jogi should answer that if jogi failed to answer that suresh should answer that if suresh failed to answer that uh, monica should answer that but what should happen whatever the question i am asking to j1 that that question should reach j1 jogi also then, then only he will answer me right i asked j1 what is two twos how much two 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 twos how much j1 is very busy in his work jogi should answer like four because he should he received that request in the same way that is called as failing offer of the traffic that is called as active active connections of the servers so if one server is not responding immediately the second server automatically should respond to that so now we will come back to our basic uh, outage so server is down or rebooted what happened is server is not tracking the traffic like it is throwing our 401 error 504 errors so what happens when you started the bridge again, you started the bridge and again you the application team joined and they said my application is working pretty much fine. No problem from my application. And infra team joined. They also tell no, no, infra is working. Each and every connection is working fine and it is getting the data also. Server team also joined and they identified the problem. The server is not tracking the traffic and it is not. Server one is busy. Server 2 is not taking your uh, uh, traffic, I mean your request. Jogi is not, couldn't able to hear what is I am asking, how he can answer that. So what the server will, uh, I mean DB means nothing but the server team, database team. What they will do, they fail over the traffic to another server. They fail over the traffic to another server means whatever the traffic coming to server 1 they will divert the traffic to server 2 because server 2 is working pretty much fine so server 2 will give the answer and meanwhile what the db team will do they will restart our first server whenever they restart the server the simple thing whenever they restart the server it will work fine if your pc struck what you will do you will restart your cpu fine it will work in the same way servers will work understood that is how you know the server problems will be resolved so in the first case what happened server is you know it is piled up and the, it is not giving you know the application is not responding due due to it is not getting any responses from the server in the second case three servers are working fine three servers are working fine but what happened server one is not transferring the data to the other servers so what they how they resolve the issue they trans they manually 
diverted the traffic to the other servers and they restarted the first server. And, and no need to explain this much to your uh, interview panel, but the basic thing is the server is not tra taking the traffic, so the DB team manually uh, failed over the traffic and they restarted the server. You need to by heart these, uh, you know, uh, these three lines or two lines. And you need to explain only one or two scenarios. No need to explain all the five scenarios also. Okay. So I will move forward. And another thing is kind of related to the updates. So the people who, you know, place PUBG will know this. Or, you know, you will get updates in your Play, Play Store. You know Play Store in your Android apps, right? Android Play Store. You know Play Store. And you will get app updates in this. So an update is nothing but you are using an update. You are using an application and there will be a development team who always try to improve the performance of the application. So, so what they will do? They, they will develop a code. Code is nothing but an update. And they will deploy in the application. So the new version will be released and the people start using that application. This is the process. This is the process. You, you will get updates in your, you know, WhatsApp. In the initial stages of WhatsApp, you couldn't able to attach a picture also. You couldn't able to send a video also. But what now you can do? Uh, now you can send pictures, you can send live location, and now you can send a message and you can delete that message also. And now you can, in the recent update, you can react to a message also. So you can send a like, you can send a love. So these are all the updates. For each and every update, what they will do? They will uh, write a code. The Java developers or the Python developers will uh, develop a code. They will test that code. If it works fine, they will implement. But what is our role here? What is our, uh, what is our role here? So they deploy the code, but it won't work properly. That is there again, major instant managers will come into the picture. If everything were, we will work fine, there is no jobs for us. So there comes the major instant. So the, the team is, uh, what they will, again, the, you, uh, the short description will be application stopped responding. Application stopped responding. So again, you will start the bridge and you will, uh, uh, pull the application team onto the bridge and the issue is the application team deployed a new co new code which was failed and causing the outage. So the application is working fine, infra is working fine, servers are, are pretty much fine. Still the application is not working. It is due to an update. They will, they updated the application. There is a, uh, what I can say, there is an error in the code that is impacting the application. So what the major instant managers will do? At this point of time, you will raise a ECR, emergency change request, because uh, it is pretty much, you know, you need to bring the application uh, on the uh, running stage. Like you need to restore the services here. So for this, what you need to do, you suppose to do, uh, you, you will receive a emergency change request, ECR. and application team will what they will do immediately they don't correct the code they will just revert the code what they deployed in this so they will come back to the previous version because previous version is working fine right so they will just remove what they update they have did they will just deploy the previous code and the issue got resolved that's it if you have any doubts please let me know here Yet the application is working fine, infra is working fine, server is also working fine, but due to a new update, application stopped working. So you will raise a ECR that we will discuss in change management again. What is ECR? Emergency change request. And with the emergency request, once it got approved, they will remove the update and they will come back to the previous version. Anyhow, the previous version is works fine. So the issue will be resolved. Are you clear with these three, uh, uh, I mean, issues? Application not responding, issues with the server, and the code defect. 
fine i will take your silence as yes and i will go forward and next one is the billing issues or the payment issues so this you will pretty much aware of these kind of issues uh, like you will see whenever you send money to your friend the money will be deducted from your account it won't created into your friend's account and you will pretty much worried about your uh, money and immediately you will call uh, uh, the banking professionals or the you will raise a request uh, you will raise a request so there again comes the major instant management team in that particular organization okay coming to our basics again so the short description of the incident is payments from the users were not processed like there can be two types like you are sending the money it is throwing money couldn't be transferred and the money is deducted and it is not credited into the recipient's account and you and the other case is it is just revolving like anything and you couldn't uh, you know uh, send back i mean you what i can say you couldn't go back and you couldn't refresh the page also so these are the kind of issues so again what you will do initial thing whenever the major incident management major incident comes reporting payments are not processed by the users in the particular phone pay application so immediately you will open the bridge and you will pull the <coughs> sorry for that so you will pull the application team onto the bridge so they identified that the payments were struck in the queue the applications are processing it is not the application is not receiving the applicant you know the uh, uh, the payment request so what happened application team connected with the infra team and they investigate the problem so in the majority of the cases what happens if there is any suspicious ips were there like uh, mm, suppose i am just giving a uh, i am just giving an example the it it can be a vague example also like a basic example i will give so if any transaction is you know uh, is processed with the name kasab or al khaida so what happens is immediately uh, the system will be in design such a way that it will stop the transaction immediately it won't process the transaction it will keep that in the queue and they will get a trigger the kyc team will get the trigger at that point of time what the the same related all the kind of transactions will be struck in the queue so at that time what the infra team will do they will block the all the suspicious ips and they will resolve the issue they will remove all the ips you know right ip addresses you know ip addresses uh, like you know website addresses will be there right so our ip will be there 160 192 2.11 that is our ip address so uh, those ips will be blocked and the remaining uh, uh, payments will be processed that is how they will resolve the billing or the payment issues if any payments were struck in the queue so they will remove all the suspicious transactions you can say the suspicious transactions and they will resolve the issue that's it these are the one kind of issues and next one is the time out error simplest time out error it is not a big deal also time out errors means whenever the traffic is pretty much high it can be the application end or it can be at the server end so uh what happens is uh, the timeout errors will come timeout errors is nothing but you couldn't able to access the page uh, that is the timeout errors you know timeout errors right so when you click on ircdc it takes uh, like 4 or 5 minutes and it will throw an error so it it can be due to the any kind of issue so i am just concluding in a such a way that it can be the application issue it can be the server issue or it can be a issue with the code or something so you will pull everyone each member from each team and they will provide a work around and they will go for permanent fix so that is the reason i gave it so users are facing time out errors in reaching the application so the users couldn't able to access the application infra team identified due to a change activity server is not accepting the traffic so the change activity you will get this understand once you go with the uh, 
change management also. I will give a brief introduction on change also. So what these people will do, the, the change management people will do on the weekends, they will deploy new updates with a change, proper change. So due to that change, these applications will stop working. It is just like that our, uh, you know, code defect only. But it is not only the code, it can be anything. Like the change means they, they can replace the servers, they will replace the infra, but anything, it can be a hardware related, software related or anything, they will make some changes in the system itself. System in the sense, not only the computer, the complete organization, they will make some changes. So due to that, this issue is, uh, Mm, you know, uh, there is a chance of uh, occurrence of this kind of issue. So for that, they immediately can't, you know, uh, uh, you know, come back to the basics again, as in the code. Just like that, they can't uh, replace anything. So what they will do is, the MIM team will raise an ECR again, and they will restart the server, and they will, you know, uh, they will try for a workaround, you know, the temporary solution. And immediately, application team will work with the permanent fix with the new code deployment. So they will take three or four days of time and they will permanently fix the sit. So, um, I mean, uh, what I can say, the uh, permanently fix the issue. So at that point of time, they will, what they will do, they will just provide the workaround. They will just provide the workaround and they will take a time and they will, uh, you know, uh, come with a, they come up with a proper permanent fix. But what you can say, the major instant will be resolved. With the workaround also, they can uh, resolve the uh, major incident. And they will take care of the permanent fix in the latter part. That's it. These are the kind of scenarios you can say, are the types of issues you can say. Uh, you will uh, receive in the organizations. Any two, if you could able to explain for five minutes, fine. That will be fine for me. So I will okay. just okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Hello, sir. Uh, yes. These are these all are coming under uh, major instant management problems, sir. These all are no, no, any kind of. It depends on the priority and the impact again. If the billing issue is only for one person, so is, is it going to be major incident or uh, normal incident? Three, four incident or uh, That's it. So these are the kind of common issues we see in the organization. That's it. And the major incident never falls depending upon the short description. Again, I'm telling. And don't, you know, don't come to basics like that. So... How the major incident will, uh, you know, will be prioritized depending upon the impact and the urgency. If the billing issue is happening for multiple people, that is a major incident. If the okay. application is down for a huge group, again, that will be a major incident. If a single person is not able to uh, use the application, that will be a low priority incident. That's it. Simple fund, that is what I am saying. You just strictly process, that's it. How the priority will be, I mean, how the incident prior, priority will be taken. Only one answer is there. Impact and urgency, that's it. Not short description, not configuration item, not assignment group, not description, or not based upon the resolution you provided. No. You just go through the impact and urgency of the incident and you will prioritize the incident. That's it. Very simple. Don't think too much. That's what I'm saying. Again, the timeout errors are for multiple people. Yes, fine. It is a major incident. Timeout errors are for one or two people. It is a P3 or a P4 incident. That's it. So we will just revise everything, uh, you know, uh, we did for this particular thing. So for the, you know, you need to understand the roles and responsibilities of uh, the major incident or the incident. So you will start your day with the basic health check. So, you know, now you are handling the tool also. So you have a visibility so that you can identify how many incidents are reported, how many are resolved and how many are pending. In the pending incident, you, you need to go through the... Uh, the priority of the pending incidents and which, with the, which assignment groups they are pending. 
and with which people they are pending. So you have that visibility now because you are accessing and you are creating the tickets and now you, you know uh, the from where I mean where the tickets are pending and everything. So you will set up the call with the concern team. If it is pending with software, you will set up a call with the uh, you know uh, the concerned uh, software team and you will uh, get that get that resolved. And if they are not resolving and you will get the timely updates on this and you will share with the stakeholders timely updates in the sense you saw four tickets under software after three hours you could be able to see again three tickets so you will go to them and you will get the updates why you just only resolved one ticket hey why you didn't resolve three what is the problem you just give me the reasons for that so he will give you the reason and you will just analyze those reasons that's it and next one if they are not responding to your pings or any mails also what you will do you will follow a three tier mechanism here the thai one thai two and thai three and with a proper salutation and uh, you should not offend anyone. You should be polite and you should be, your tone should be uh, high. I can't say it is harsh, but it should be high so that they will respond to your tone also. And when you finish your, with your shift, you will prepare a end of the day report and you will share with your team lead so that by summarizing EOD of all the team members, the manager will get what exactly happened on that day. So he, he will prepare the metric sheet for the next day. And if any high priority incident comes, you need to take care of everything as a major incident manager, starting from declaring the incident, prioritizing, categorizing, pulling the call, uh, pulling, I mean, initiating the bridge call, sending the critical notification, and getting the things resolved in the within the SLA and sharing the uh, PAR post incident report. And if any new joiner comes to your organization, you should take care of the KTs. So whatever the knowledge you gain over the BAU activities, like the regular activities, you, you should be able to transfer that knowledge to your new joiners also. These are your roles and responsibilities as a L3 manager when you got placed in the organization. So moving ahead, so the daily activities means it, these are, you know, these are the regular activities what you need to take. So whenever an incident is reported from the service desk, you will declare that incident. So you will go through the incident. So again, you are having those incidents on your names, right? So you will just go through. Depending upon the impact and urgency, short description, you go through everything. So if you feel like impact is high, so you will declare that as a high priority incident and you will send the initial broadcast message to the all the leadership. The st key stakeholders are nothing but the uh, leadership of the organization. Hey, people, just see, we got a major incident and this application got impacted. So that is how you will send a initial broadcast message to the team. And when you send that uh, initial broadcast, automatically the critical not critical notification will be sent to the concerned application team, like the culprit application as well as the impacted applications. So you will initiate a bridge call, and this you are pretty much familiar, I think. So you will initiate a bridge call, and you will add the required teams. Anyhow, you send the critical notification, right? Obviously, the teams will join, and they will start you know, uh, uh, look. they start looking into the issue, they will diagnose and they will come up with the resolution and you will get monitor the things, how they are happening on the bridge and you will get everything, you know, streamlined in such a way that the, uh, they are providing the resolution within the SLA. So you make sure the work notes is properly updated. The properly means using the proper salutations. It has everything. It should not be like one or two kind of uh, sentences. It should be pretty much a detailed kind of things. Once the issue is resolved, you will prepare the post incident report and the end of the day, you will publish the post incident report. This is the, you know, this is the, you know, the process you should follow when a major incident is resolved. I mean, sorry, reported. So moving ahead. So this is the escalation management and the people who are there in the escalation management First, you will reach the manager and the senior manager and you will take some time and if they are also not responding and you will, you know, include the directors in the level two or the tier two escalation and if they are also not responding, you have that privilege or you have that right to include vice president of the organization to look into your issue. But it is not, you know, uh, it is not uh, happens regularly and uh, uh, every people will work and they will respond to your pings and uh, uh, your mails or if you call them over phone also they will respond and they will be pretty much polite 
So as per the process, we have an escalation matrix. That's it. And these are the SLAs. And now I think you are pretty much familiar with the SLAs also. Uh, because you know we gone through the multiple uh, tickets and we go through the SLAs also. So if you changes the priority, the you know the concern the SLA will be attached to the incident. Make sure once the time ticks tickles, it never stops until you cap that on the hold or the ticket is resolved. Uh, that's it. If you are keeping the ticket on a hold also, you will get you should give a proper uh, reason uh, for uh, the town hold because whenever an incident manager comes and he to, he take a look on the incident if it is kept just like that on hold the incident managers will you know you as an incident manager should not uh, encourage that again you should go to the assignment assignment group manager and you should ask hey P, why you didn't provide the proper uh, on hold reason for this that is how the things will work. So this is how the SLA management and these are the performance KPIs and you can just answer them. Mean time to detect, mean time to resolve and everything. And we have discussed We have discussed uh, the types of issues reported. I think we are clear with the mock interviews also. So with this, uh, I will stop recording this session and thank you so much for joining. So.